Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. Today we'll continue making our laser gun, which is actually just a mode on our light gun thing. Um, but we'll continue doing that! And today we're actually going to make the laser visible. Alright? And by visible, I mean... Okay, so we've already got the laser working. It's basically just a ray. It really doesn't do anything right now. Alright? So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Go to the starter pack. Light. Firing. Ah, ah. Guys, go to the forum. I want... I'm going to make a forum post, actually, right after this. In the suggestions and ideas forum. I'm going to put it... In the description below, I want you all to go to that link and agree with me. It's a forum thread that will talk about, I want this thing to remember the font size for scripts. I change it every episode for you guys. I, it'd be great if I didn't have to do that, right? Right? It'd be like, hey, BB's actually got a video that is kind of worth watching and then you guys could see it and not have that issue anymore um so tell roblox okay i'll have a forum thread you guys post forum threads as well get everybody post in the comments i know you can't post the links to forum threads but i'm pretty sure forum threads have ids that we can tack on to another forum thread and just replace the ID. So post the ID to your forum thread down below. Post on all the other forum threads that are found in the comments below. Go through the forum and look for other things. Get Roblox to do this, please. Anyway, let's get back. All right, laser fire. So we've got this all finished, right? Well, we don't want to only do this in the case that there's a hit. So we want to do this brick thing first, okay? So let's make a distance variable, which will equal, uh, position, eh, we need to do this like this. Position minus tool.handle.position.magnitude. So we're finding how far, how far is this actually? Like, from the tool, how far is it? How far is it until we hit something? Right? And why? Oh, why? There we go. Okay. Oh, what's going on now, Roblox? Okay. So after that, next up, we're going to want to make a new part. Okay? And we're going to put this part into the workspace, I think. Probably the best idea, right? Okay. So we're going to make laser equal instance dot new part workspace and are you serious this made noise again I thought I silenced it how the heck there we go okay laser equals instance dot new part workspace which will create a new brick part in the workspace now we've got to do a bunch of stupid stuff to uh, fix it like first let's do laser dot trans Transparency equals 0 0.5 laser dot bottom surface equals smooth oops wait no how do you I think it's enum dot surface type right that smooth that sounds right all right so we'll do it for the top surface and then <clears throat> what else um we'll have to make the can collide so people can walk through it Laser dot can collide equals false. Yeah. Um, we'll have to change the form factor. Laser dot, which is how it gets sized. I showed you this last time. Um, one second. I think it's enum dot form factor dot custom. All right. What this will do is it'll allow us to size it at any multiple of a tenth of a fifth of a stud. So that's going to give us a lot more, like that's the minimum, and then we can go anywhere past a, ten, a fifth of a sud, any size up to the max, I think, which I think is 2048. Um, then we need laser that size equals uh, vector three dot new 0 0.2, that's the minimum, it's a fifth of a stud, 0 0.2, 0 point, and then distance, right? Yep, yep, yep. 
what that's doing is it's making it as small as it possibly can be for X and Y and then as long as it needs to be to reach its target and then the last part is laser dot C frame and this is the interesting part okay we're going to do C frame dot new okay so C frame dot new is making a C frame um, but we're not just going to feed in three variables um, like as parameters the, we're not only doing a C frame sure we're going to do position that's the first part then we're going to do tool and okay we're not feeding in three numbers to do this. We're feeding in two positions, and it's going to find like the midway point between those two positions. So we're going to do position and tool that handle that position, and then we're going to multiply this, okay, by C frame dot new zero zero and then negative distance divided by two. And the reason we do that is that is sort of like the angling, if you want to say that. It's going to force it to be at the right angle, okay? And I'm looking over here. This is where I have a. Oh, yep, that's one more thing. We need laser that anchored equals true. And. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll also, just for the fun of it, let's do the brick color. Laser dot brick color equals brick color dot new, and let's do bright red, cause that's lasery colors. Okay, so now we're gonna press F6. It's still not gonna hurt our zombie. That's gonna be Monday. And by the way, guys, I know this episode's out super late, um, but there were a lot of technical issues today. Uh, there's an error on line 48. <sighs> Okay, 48, 48, 48. Oh, we don't need that. There we go. You guys probably saw that a half hour ago, right? Like, trying to yell at me through the screen. Yeah, I make a lot of those issues. All right, come on, light, laser, boom. Do you guys see this? All right, so the lasers aren't disappearing right now. That's one thing we could fix, right? Okay, we'll fix that. Um, probably just make a script that forces them to disappear later on. Um, but the main thing I want to show you is when we go over here. Okay, these both hit the wall. They're not going through the wall. Okay, I'm going to shoot from here. Oops, no. There. See how far that's going? Okay. Now watch me shoot here. It stops right there. The reason being is we're only doing it from the position where it hits. But if it doesn't hit anything, it goes out basically forever. Okay? Um, I can't tell if that zombie's... No, that zombie's not chasing us. Okay. So these things are... They're not... The whole can collide thing is really glitchy on Roblox sometimes. Um, like you guys can see, I'm walking through it. But whenever my feet get on it, I jump around and stuff. It's weird. Um, that's Roblox's fault, though. Anyway, so there we go. We've got lasers working. Next episode, we'll work on making them hurt people and making them actually disappear. Um, but for now, I'm happy with our progress. It's going super well. If we went and pegged our zombie with about 100 of these, it'd be pretty cool. See? He's just like... Now, these aren't going to stick to their target. They're meant only to go to where they hit, so that's kind of a problem, I guess. But, oh well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button, corresponding to how you felt about this video. It helps me out a ton, even if you're hitting the dislike button. It tells me I did not do something right and that there's something I could do better. Alright? So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later.